Hey guys, Justin here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a way to get new fans for free using SEO. So if you watched the video I posted a couple days ago, I explained why SEO is not the best way to get new fans, and I stand by that. It's actually uh, not really the most effective way to get new fans. Um, in the video I posted the other day, I explained why Facebook ads is way, way better for that. Uh, but you know, you do have to spend some money on the ads. Now it's not a lot for $10, $15 a week, you can be getting new fans every single day using Facebook ads. But that being said, I realized that some people, you know, don't have an extra $10 a week to spend on ads right now. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use SEO to get new fans listening to your music if you can't afford to do Facebook ads right now. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the other day I uploaded a video where I explained that I really don't think that SEO is the best way for you to get new fans as an artist. That's a question I get asked a lot. And the fact of the matter is that using paid advertising platforms like Facebook is a really a much better way to get your music in front of new fans if you know how to do it right. However, I do realize that some of you may be in a situation where you don't have any extra money right now to put into any kind of advertising, even if it is only 10 or $15 a week. So in this video, I'm going to show you a way that you can use SEO, search engine optimization, to get new fans, to get your music in front of people that have never heard of your music before. So the first thing you might be thinking is, all right, so if this video is about search engine optimization, what are we doing at YouTube? Shouldn't we be using Google for this? And the fact of the matter is that YouTube is actually the second largest, second most used search engine on the planet after Google. It gets used more than Yahoo, Bing, or any other search engine. And because of the nature of the type of content that we're gonna be producing, the type of content that you'll be producing, it actually makes a lot more sense to use YouTube rather than Google. Because YouTube is not just a search engine, but it's also a platform where people go for entertainment. They go to watch movies, they go to watch you know, web series, videos like this one, and people use YouTube to listen to music as well. So the method that I recommend using, if you're trying to get your music in front of people that haven't heard of you before, that aren't gonna be searching for you, but you wanna utilize search engine optimization to get your music in front of people that haven't heard it before, I recommend that you do cover songs. Because the first thing that you need for search engine optimization to work is people actually searching for something. So if people don't know who you are, they're not going to be searching for you. But people do go to YouTube to listen to music and they use the search feature to find songs that they're looking for. So if you do cover versions of songs that a lot of people are looking for, you can actually step in front of some traffic and get your music in front of people that otherwise may never have heard of you. So the first thing that you need to do is figure out what song you want to cover. Now there are two factors to look at when deciding on a song that you want to do a cover of for the purpose of ranking in YouTube search results. The first one is, well, are people searching for the song? So you don't want to do some obscure song that nobody's looking for. You want to do a song that a lot of people are searching frequently. And then ideally you want to choose a song that doesn't have a lot of competition. So if you choose a song that's really popular, that's been around for a long time, that's been around for you know, years or decades, that's great because there's a lot of people probably searching for that song because it's a classic and a lot of people like it. But because it's been around so long, there's probably already a lot of competition, a lot of other videos ranking for that song. So the first thing that I would recommend that you do is go over to a music chart like iTunes Top 100 and find some new songs that are currently really popular that are currently getting a lot of searches and pretty much anything that's on the iTunes top 100 is probably getting searched quite a bit, at least enough for you to get some new fans. But also you want to remember that you want to target songs that don't have too much competition because the more competition there is, the less likely it is that your video is going to get any views at all. So rather than just picking the most popular song that's on the iTunes top 100 right now, um, at least at first when you're just getting started. Later on down the road, if your channel's already getting a lot of views, then you can do covers of songs that are really popular, that have been around for a long time, and you can still get some traction, and you might be able to rank in search results. But when you're first getting started, I would recommend going down closer to the bottom of the iTunes Top 100 and finding songs that might be a little bit more obscure. Because they're on the iTunes Top 100, we know there's an audience for them. We know that people are actually searching for these songs. 
but there's probably a little bit less competition than the songs at the top of the list. Now you don't have to do it this way. You can still get traffic from songs that have been around for a long time. But remember, this is search engine optimization, SEO, search engine optimization. And what I'm trying to teach you here is how to optimize for the best results possible. So this is what I recommend. If you're looking for a way to get free traffic using SEO, I think that this is probably one of the uh, better approaches that you can take in terms of finding a song to do a cover of. Now, once you've chosen a song, you'll want to go over to YouTube and you'll upload your video. And let's say that we've chosen to do, maybe we'll scroll down a little bit here. We'll say we're doing a cover of Broken Halos by Chris Stapleton. So once you've recorded your video, and this doesn't have to be anything professional at all. This could be something with just you in your living room with a guitar. Maybe have a friend videotape you at your next live show. You just do a cover there. Whatever works, as long as it sounds good. It doesn't have to be the best video quality necessarily. It doesn't have to look like a professional you know, music video or anything like that. But once you have your video, you'll go over to YouTube. You'll upload the video. Now you would want to set your video to public or you could schedule it to be released in the future if you want, but ultimately you want it to be a public video. I'm gonna choose the unlisted option only because this is just an example. I'm not actually uploading a video right now that I want on my YouTube channel. And just in case I accidentally publish it, I don't want it to uh, go live. So you'll choose the video that you wanna upload. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do when you're optimizing to rank and search results in YouTube is title your video properly. So what was the song that we decided we were gonna do? Broken Halos by Chris Stapleton. So if I was just trying to get this video to show up in search results, anytime somebody searched for Chris Stapleton, I would start out with Chris Stapleton and then put the name of the song, which was Broken Halos. And then I would put cover, maybe in parentheses here, cover by your artist name. All right, so when you do it this way, you're indicating, first of all, to YouTube that Chris Stapleton is the most important phrase, followed by Broken Halos. And then, you know, your artist name isn't really important in this method because nobody knows who you are. Nobody's searching for your music at this point anyway. That's kind of the point. So if you're just trying to rank for any Chris Stapleton song, this would be a better approach. But remember, this is going to be more difficult to rank for than this specific song. So when you're starting out, I would recommend targeting the song itself first and then the artist second. So in that case, I would title this, and this is how I recommend that you would title yours when you're getting started, something like this. So you have the song name first, then the artist name, which is gonna be harder for you to rank for, and then cover by and your name. And this is you know less important for two reasons. One, nobody's actually searching for you yet because they don't know who you are. Our target right now is people that haven't heard of you before, getting new fans. So they're not gonna be searching for you, so it's okay to have this further back in the title. And also, you know, this is what people's eyes are gonna see first. On uh, some mobile devices, this stuff might get cut off as well. So we want the most important information right up front, the thing that people are searching for. We want them to see that so they're likely to actually click on the video and watch it. Next, in the description, you also want to use the keywords that you're targeting. So we want this video to show up when people type in Broken Halos or Broken Halos by Chris Stapleton. So we want to make sure that we have our keywords in the description as well. And the closer that you have those keywords towards the beginning of the description, the better so you might start out with a phrase like, here's my version of Broken Halos by Chris Stapleton. I absolutely love this song, yada, yada, yada. And then typically, the more that you put in the description, the better. Um, you can use the keywords a couple of times. So I would try to use um, the target key phrase, Broken Halos, maybe two or three times in my video description but you don't want to like overdo it. You don't necessarily want to do it more than that. Next, you need to make sure that you have the keywords in your tags down here. So Broken Halos, Chris Stapleton, Chris Stapleton, Broken Halos. And you can actually have up to 500 characters. So you can put quite a few tags and I would just recommend maxing that out. Put as many tags as you can here. And by the way, this is a tool that I use uh, right here called um, TubeBuddy. So your actual profile probably won't have that. Um, I can put a link to TubeBuddy in the description if you want to check that out. 
um, but we'll not get into that too much. You can just type your tags up here as well. So Chris Stapleton, Broken Halos Cover, things like that. And then I would just add a bunch of tags, basically just, uh, word, just phrases that you think people might be searching for to find this video. And I would just kind of max that out with as many tags as YouTube will let you do. All right, so those are the main things to remember to do when you're optimizing your videos to rank for search results. But there's another actually more important aspect to doing search engine optimization on YouTube than just using the right keywords. So there are kind of two parts of doing effective SEO on YouTube. One is what I just showed you, getting the right keywords in the right places. But the second part is engagement, right? So having the right keywords in the right places is essentially helping YouTube understand how to categorize your video. Like what is the video about? That's what all this keyword stuff does. But the engagement on your video and the engagement on your channel are actually going to be more important signals when it comes to YouTube deciding whether it's going to be your version of Broken Halos by Chris Stapleton that shows up in their search results or somebody else's. And it makes a lot of sense when you think about it from YouTube's perspective, right? So what is YouTube's goal? Like well, YouTube wants more people on their website. Like if YouTube had their way, they would have all 7 billion people on the planet, on their website, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The more time people spend on their platform, the more ads they see. The more ads they see, the more money YouTube makes. So YouTube wants to have more people on their platform. They wanna keep people on their platform as long as possible because that's how they make money. So choosing the right song, recording a good cover version of it, and then uploading it to YouTube and putting the right keywords in the right places is part of it, but you also wanna make sure that people are actually watching your whole video, that they're staying on, uh, watching as much of the video as possible, and ideally staying on your channel. So let's quickly talk about a few of the things that YouTube's gonna look at to determine if people are really engaged with your videos and if they like your videos. Because if, if people really like your videos and they're spending a lot of time watching the videos, and YouTube sees that you know you have a lot of engagement around your videos, they're gonna be more likely to actually show up in search results. All right, so a lot of this stuff is kind of obvious. The more likes that you have, the better, right? Likes are a big indicator to YouTube that people actually like the content that you're posting. Uh, the comments, so the more comments that you get in the comment section, the better. The more interaction that's going on here, the better. When people comment, you wanna actually reply to them. That's another thing that YouTube wants to see. They want to see that you're engaging with people, uh, that people are interacting here. That's another sign that people are going to stay on the platform if they're and that they're actually engaged with the videos that you're posting is if they're commenting and there's discussion going on in the comment section. So one of the things I like to do in my videos is, uh, first of all, you'll see I put things like uh, this little bit of text here, this just little image where it says, you know, click subscribe, never miss a video posted on this channel. So the more subscribes you get from videos, again, that's another indication that people are engaged on your channel. So uh, having these calls to action, like click uh, subscribe. All right, there's another one here. You know, click thumbs up below. Um, just, you know, asking people and telling them like, hey, you know, if you're finding this helpful, uh, be sure to let me know, give it a thumbs up below. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All of those interactions are going to indicate to YouTube that, People enjoy your content. It's going to help your stuff show up in search results. The uh, duration, how long people are watching for, the percentage and the actual uh, amount of time, like the percentage of the video that people watch is huge. The amount of time that they spend watching the video, that's all uh, really important stuff. So you want to make sure that your videos are you know, keeping people watching. And then another thing um, you'll see in most of my videos, at the end, I'll say something along the lines of, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below. The same type of stuff that I'm putting in these call to actions like, like this right here, I actually verbalize towards the end of the video. Uh, so that's something that I recommend that you do. Um, and that's really easy to do if, you know, you're just sitting in your living room recording a cover version of you on your guitar. And then at the end, you can, you know, you're basically making the video for YouTube. Um, in other situations, you know, maybe you're recording an entire live performance and then cutting out the cover songs to upload to YouTube, 
well, obviously when you're standing on stage, you're not going to tell your audience, oh, be sure to click the thumbs up button below because they're not actually watching a video. They're watching a live performance of you. But you can always like record a separate video of you saying that at the end, saying, you know, thanks for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to share it with your friends. Give it a thumbs up, comment below, all that stuff. So you can shoot that little snippet that you put on the end of your video like that as well. I really love YouTube because not only is it a search engine where people can find your content because they're searching for it or searching for, you know, something similar like a song that you did a cover of, but there's also this recommendations right here. There's like recommendations down here on the sidebar, uh, recommended videos based on your interests and based on the videos that you've been watching. So if your videos are getting a lot of engagement, they might show up for people over here on the side, even if they're not searching for them. So you can get a lot of traffic that way as well. But engagement is key. Engagement is really important. So you want to make sure that the videos that you're uploading are good, that people are going to watch them all the way through, that you have call to actions that are you know encouraging people to interact, leave comments, leave thumbs up, subscribe to your channel, all of that stuff. And that'll help you uh, to show up not only in search results, but also in the recommendations as well. And one last tip before we wrap up, uh, when you do upload your video, you want to be sure to share it in other places as well immediately. So you want to kind of start to get the ball rolling because if YouTube sees a bunch of people coming from other places to your video, as soon as you upload it, they're going to start to give you a little bit more love and that'll increase your chances of showing up in search results and in recommended videos. So I recommend, you know, posting to all your socials, posting a link, you know, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, you know, send an email out to your email list, anything that you can do to get people to your video as soon as it's released is really going to help your chances of getting additional free traffic from YouTube through their search feature or through recommended videos. All right. So that's what I recommend doing. That's kind of the approach that I recommend taking if you are looking to tap into some free traffic using search engine optimization uh, to get new fans to check out your music. All that being said, you know, there really is no guarantee that even if you do all of this stuff exactly right, there's really no guarantee that your video is going to show up in search results. There's not really any guarantee that you're going to get a lot of uh, new fans this way. But, you know, but if you are on a tight budget, uh, you definitely can. But it's not as much of a guarantee as like just simply running Facebook ads where like, you know, if you're running five, spending $5 a day on Facebook ads, you know you're getting multiple new fans every single day. Um, so if you do have a little bit of money to invest in running ads, it's not expensive. $10, $15 a week, you can be running Facebook ads. Um, and if you know how to do it right, you will be getting new fans every single day. That is something that I teach inside of my course, Music Promotion Machine. So if you're interested in learning more about that, go to musicpromotionmachine.com or click the link in the video description to get access to Music Promotion Machine right now. And if you have not already signed up to my email list, if you haven't already downloaded the Music Promotion Blueprint, there's a free ebook that I put together for you called the Music Promotion Blueprint, which is a proven strategy that you can follow to grow an audience online. That's completely free. I'll link to that in the description as well. However, if you do want step-by-step -step video instruction on how to set up everything that I teach inside the Music Promotion Blueprint, as well as some additional training like how to run Facebook ads effectively and how to get new fans signing up to your email list every day for pennies, check out Music Promotion Machine at musicpromotionmachine.com. And if you found this video helpful, please do share it with your friends. Uh, give it a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below. Help me get some more traction with this channel. Help me get some more engagement going on so I can grow my audience here on this channel as well. I really appreciate you guys that are helping me out here, that you're supporting me. Uh, so please do engage with the video, give it a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below, share it with your friends. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and tick the little bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.